Let me hop out. Leaving the key. All right, so there we go. Truck's got some dirt on it again. There's the front of the truck. Look at that, beautiful. So this is actually a great spot because you got this giant highway wall here, so it's not ever gonna be windy. At least, because uh, we got a tree line on that side too. So this actually could be a new possible spot that we go for for some, uh, for some, you know, talk about stuff or whatever about the trucks and stuff. The only downside is, is the highway. So I hope that doesn't pick up too much on the camera, but it might because obviously this is a highway sound barrier. So that sucks. So what I want to talk about is color matching your truck and the process of which I took and your options that you have to color match your truck. So it's about to rain out. If you see this, these are some dark clouds. I can feel it's starting to drizzle already, but I wanna go over this quickly and I wanna be able to explain this to you guys and get you guys this information if you guys are thinking about color matching your truck. So the first thing, the first option, well, yeah, whatever option you have to color match your truck is to Plasti Dip or to spray paint the chrome on your truck, assuming that it's chrome or black or whatever you can spray paint it to the match the color i know you can do that it's probably really expensive to buy all that spray paint in the in the actual paint match especially like a metallic paint like this truck but yeah or you can plasti dip it if you have a flat color but that's i mean that's a cheap option yeah that was uh pretty loud whatever it just went by like a motorcycle on the road but another option that you do have and that is to wrap your truck you could just wrap it now that you're gonna be spending a few thousand dollars if you want to wrap the whole thing one color but if you're just doing a front and back bumper you may you may be only at like a thousand bucks maybe less than that i'm not really sure of the wrapping cost but it may be worth you to for you to do that the only downside is that rocks are going to chip up and hit the wrap all the time and also it's it's going to start to peel because it's outside on the elements so it's not going to be that permanent of a thing but you could it's gonna last at least like three to four years so you could wrap your truck but that's also an expensive option what i did was is actually probably the most labor intensive and well back and forth all that kind of stuff but i don't know it's probably the most permanent fix as well so that's why it's also the best option it just takes time but of course you want to take your time to make sure things are done right and that is well everything let me just explain this everything on this truck originally from factory was chrome i'm saying the end caps were chrome the bottom piece down here was silver this was chrome the grill was chrome everything was chrome on this truck i just i mean i liked it at first but then if you know me you know me now i just don't like chrome at all so what happened was is that i went online and you just what you do is just you just find your piece of see like this piece here you find it in a, like a primer version especially these end caps were cheap you find them in a primer version or an already painted version whatever is not chrome and then once you get that stuff in the mail you just bring it to a body shop and you get that painted up to paint match your truck and of course you want to actually give them your truck because sometimes depending on how old your truck is it may have faded the the paint may have faded so you want to make sure that you paint it and match it to the actual faded color of your truck not to just the paint code because the paint code may actually be a different shade some of these pieces came from gm a lot of them are aftermarket like these end caps were painted but these were GM painted. They came black and then painted to paint the match. This, now this was actually bl a black grill because it's the only one I could get in LTZ and then I had to paint that and this was actually chrome on the inside. I don't recommend painting chrome. The, I, this was the only option I had so I took care of it that way. But realistically, if you have any chrome pieces, you wanna just get rid of it because painting over it is not a good idea. That's why going the route, getting a primer version or already painted version of each piece and putting it on is the most permanent way and best way so it doesn't flake off in the future and then you don't go through the headaches of having to repaint it or get new pieces and all that. So you'll end up spending more money. So might as well do it right the first time. Get the get the painted pieces or primer pieces in the, from online. Once you get them in the mail, get them painted somewhere, throw them on and there you go. Now as for this bottom piece, getting this plastic piece black i actually just ordered that it used to be a like a like a smooth glossy not a glossy but it was really smooth silver and now it's like a rough just plastic like the toe mirrors so i think that was a nice touch and honestly i wouldn't have it any other way i think color matching your truck is the future i think that is definitely the trend and it definitely looks the best out of any other option you can have now long-term viewers of the channel will probably remember whenever the whole front end of this truck was actually black and i spray can that believe it or not with just some black spray paint it turned out horrible it was uneven it was rough i did it in the sunlight it was the most terrible terrible decision i ever made to be honest with this truck i don't recommend that at all please do not do that
even with guys with like a like a paint a black painted truck don't spray can your front black it just uh, it doesn't match up it still does not look good at all yep and that is how i color match my truck and those are ways to color match your truck i think it's about four or five of them but i'd say the way i did it would be the best and that's not just because i did it that way because it's the most permanent way to do it yep definitely a cool spot here if it wasn't so loud i hope the the gopro actually drones out all that highway noise because this is actually a pretty nice spot oh looks like someone was listening to my vlog over there oh well it looks like the rain has started as well so perfect timing now i want to actually get home and fix something with this as you can it just drives me nuts i don't know why there i just didn't uh get the cold start something happened but 